Hello again, this is Mike from Windows7Forums.com. Thanks for viewing this video. Um, in this demonstration, we discuss the methods used to update your computer through Microsoft Windows Update. Windows Update is an excellent tool, and over the years, that tool has been neglected by both business and home users. Many computers fall prey to spyware, malware, trojans, and viruses, and have the control of their computer overtaken by malicious online predators. By keeping your computer up to date and by installing Microsoft Update and not just Windows Update on a Windows 7 PC, you can take a proactive approach to keeping your computer secure. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to configure and use Windows Update from the Windows Control Panel. I'll also show you how to upgrade Windows Update to Microsoft Windows Update. These two products are significantly different and the one that comes with Microsoft Windows out of the box is not as thorough as Microsoft Windows Update. This process is normally performed automatically in Windows 7 when you have Windows Update set up uh, when the right choices are made, but many times people do not choose to get additional updates from Microsoft Update. Um, these updates include updates to Microsoft Office and many other recommended updates for Microsoft products. Here is how we can go through the update process to help you protect your computer. We begin the demonstration with a freshly loaded copy of Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit, which now has proper drivers installed. This copy of Windows 7 is running in a virtual machine for demonstration purposes, but the results would be similar whether you had performed a Windows 7 upgrade or have it done a clean install uh, either way. Let's get started on keeping your system up to date and secure. Antivirus be damned, it doesn't matter if your computer has no Windows updates. Access the control panel by going to the start menu and going to control panel. From there you need to scroll down using the list view and find Windows Update. Once you've accessed Windows Update, it's important that you check for updates. Most likely your operating system has already done this and you're going to see plenty of security updates right in front of you. Many of them are critical security updates. Some of them are reliability updates which improve the Windows 7 itself. Others are um, security updates that you absolutely need to protect your computer from harm and some of them will actually help with software compatibility and other problems you may experience uh, by using Windows 7. To put it bluntly, Windows 7 64-bit has a lot less security updates than Windows 7 32 has, but if you have the Ultimate Edition, you also see you have pretty much every language pack possible, which most people don't even use, and quite frankly, we don't need to worry about at this point. You also have Windows Defender updates, which are used to scan your system for spyware and should be installed on a regular basis. So here we go. We're going to say OK and install these updates right off the bat. We accept the license agreement. We finish. And we now start the process of downloading these updates. Already you see we have quite a few. And what's important to recognize with Windows Update is that it doesn't matter what kind of spyware protection you have on your computer, whether it's the best in the world or whether it's simply nothing at all, as we have in this case on this computer. Um, if you don't update your computer regularly with Windows Updates, you're going to wind up having problems. And this was primarily the case with Windows XP users. Now if you look here you see that you're only getting updates for Windows only. You're not getting all of the Windows updates that you can possibly get. Um, and what really uh, you can do here now, they've made it a lot easier for you, is that you can just go and get updates for other Microsoft products by clicking on find out more. And we'll deal with that right after the updates are done downloading and installing. The difference between Windows Update and Microsoft Update is substantial in the fact that not only will you get critical security updates, but you'll also get recommended security updates. And these security updates can affect many parts of your system, especially on a fully loaded system. 
when you're talking about having copies of Microsoft Office installed on your system, copies of different Microsoft software on your system, it becomes critical that you have Microsoft Update installed on your computer. Many people don't even take the time to perform this level of updating that we're doing right now, and that's pretty much because the scheduled time for installation for Windows updates by default is 3 o'clock in the morning. Some people turn their computers off at night. I'm willing to wager that most people, in fact, do turn off their computer at night. I'll show you um, in, in a little bit how you can actually change that to a reasonable time where the updates will install automatically on their own uh, while the computer is probably on. So as you see here, we're still downloading quite a few updates, as I imagine many computers out there do have. I've seen many computers without having been updated at all. So this guide is really meant to help you secure your computer in the best means possible, and that's directly through Microsoft. Now that we have installed Windows Update successfully and restarted our computer, I will show you how to activate Microsoft Update. To activate Microsoft Update, simply go to Find Out More. After clicking on Find Out More, you will be taken to a Microsoft website. You will want to agree to the terms of the license agreement and simply click on Install. Say yes to the user access control prompt. Your computer will now check for updates again. Now, we have already installed updates, but for the sake of this demonstration, I will show you that there are additional updates available to you. You have updates for Microsoft Silverlight and the opportunity to install Microsoft Live Essentials. These two products are optional installations. However, if you have Microsoft Office installed, you will receive updates for Microsoft Office as well, many of which are critical security updates and optimizations to those pieces of software. Let's now take a look at a way to change your settings to optimize how you update your computer and when you update your computer. We just clicked on Change Settings under Windows Update in Control Panel. We have set the system to automatically update. This is the recommended option. However, as you see, new updates are installed every day at 3 o'clock in the morning. If you feel that your computer will not be online at 3 o'clock in the morning, you can change it to any time you want. Preferably, you could change it to sometime after you get home from work. 7 p.m. would be an obvious choice. Even 9 a.m. might be a good choice, or 8 a.m. It's completely entirely up to you. But leaving it at 3 a.m. may be the worst option possible, especially if you turn off your computer at night. It's recommended that you do change the setting and that you allow all of these options to proceed and you can then continue to install updates and you will have a much safer and much more secure system. Thank you again for viewing this presentation. It has been brought to you by Windows7Forms.com and we look forward to seeing you on our website where we can supply you with Many more recommendations and helpful tips if you require them.